warning. Motion alarm. High temperature alarm. Fire alarm. In today's video, we will learn how to use Zod software to program Arduino Nano to control the Catalex Serial MP3 player module. The hardware parts needed are Arduino Nano, Catalex Serial MP3 player module, speaker with auxiliary input or headphone, micro SD card, six mini push button switches, breadboard wires, and breadboard. We will connect our circuit as shown in the wiring diagram. Format micro SD card as FAT32. Create new folders with the name 01 and 02. Copy MP3 songs inside these folders. Make sure to add the sequence of numbers like 001 and 002 before the song name. Plug in the micro SD card into the TF card socket on the serial MP3 player. Go to Zod website. Download desktop IDE. If you are not familiar with Zod. Zod is a free open source and powerful visual programming language for microcontrollers. It uses a graphical interface that represents hardware and computing elements as nodes that can be wired together to allow data flow between the objects. Install XOD software on your PC. Go to File. Click on Add Library. Type Catalex in the search bar and download the library. Now let us define our six push buttons. Press I or double click. On search type button. The first button will be connected to pin 7 in Arduino. Repeat the same step to define the push buttons nodes for other pins 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. You can add a description for each button to make it easier to trace. Press I and search for node pulse on false.
Repeat this step for the remaining 5 push buttons. In the same way, add the node 4, mp3 volume up, volume down, play next song, play previous song, resume and pause node. Link the RX port to pin 5. Link the TX port to pin 6, this is the setting to define the software serial ports in Arduino. Set up the board rate to 9600. Go to Deploy, click on Upload to Arduino. Select the right setting and click Upload. Make sure the upload is done successfully. Now let's try another scenario. We will make each push button play a specific mp3 file. Press I and search for mp3 play song number. Configure RX port to D5. Configure TX port to D6. Configure board rate to 9600. Change song ID to 1 for the first node. Repeat this step for the next 5 push buttons by changing the song ID to 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6.
Go to Deploy, click on Upload to Arduino. Select the right setting and click Upload. Now copy 6 MP3 files to microSD card individually. When you press push button 1 it will play the first MP3 file you copied to the SD card and so on for push button 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. File number 1. File number 2. File number 3. File number 4. File number 5. File number 6. The Arduino controls the MP3 module by sending serial commands through a TTL level UART control interface TX and RX. The MCURX TX can be hardware serial pins or a software controlled serial port. In our case, we used the software UART. Pin 5 defined as soft RX, and pin 6 defined as soft TX. Now, for example, if you want to play the next song, the Arduino need to send 8 bytes command to MP3 module that responsible to play the next song. You can find these commands in the MP3 module datasheet. In Zod the MP3 play next song node, will send this 8 bytes command to the MP3 module once trigger the initiate pins. Let's back to Zod. This button node means that a push button is connected to Arduino pin 9. Once you push the button and release it, it will trigger one pulse to initiate pin in the play next song node. This node will send the 8 bytes command for playing the next song through TX pin 6 to the MP3 module. You can double click on the patch node to see the nodes connected inside, to get a better idea of how it works. The first node is used to create the soft UART for Arduino. The second part represents the 8 bytes that will be sent one by one through soft UART pin 6 of Arduino to MP3 module. Thank you for watching this video.